Hey guys, Silent Sounds here with another Pokemon Sleep video. I hope everybody's having an amazing Thursday. Happy 4th of July. I hope everybody's having a great happy 4th of July. I hope they're spending time with their families. You know, really just a great day to kind of celebrate, you know, our countries. Or wherever you're watching from. I mean, you could be somewhere else, so. But just happy 4th of July in general, because that's where I'm staying at, so yeah. Uh, so let's get right into it. Let's see what we get. Uh, we should have gotten eight and a half. Perfect. Slumbering. Mm, that's actually pretty good. We can get a chance to get a stuffle. Triple corn stuffle. I don't know what else. Do do. Oh, we got six sponsor. Not bad. Not bad. We're getting there slowly but surely. Move this up. We got a Pichu. I don't think it's shiny. I think it's regular. Swablu, not really interesting in Swablu. We do see a Stuffle, and those are the same, right? I almost can't tell they're shiny. No, but they're not shiny. I guess we know what we're catching. At least we did get the Stuffle, honestly. Cannot complain. Stuffle's always a good one. I wouldn't mind taking another one home, though. Any other? Okay, okay. Yeah, Ryle is always hungry, bro. Ryle. Ooh. That is perfect in this case. Because I can just stuffle with one. Get to take two mons. Let's go. I mean, I could even take three, but I'm saving my great biscuits because I don't really want Ryolu. Like, because I could take three, but I'm not going to. I don't really catch a lot of Pichus, but it would be a good opportunity. I have my like shiny Raichu with apples. So. I don't really ever need anything else, but you know, it's good to see. Honestly, today was not too bad. Two mons is actually pretty good. Oh, uh, yeah, let's give out stuff of candy. Got a lot of Pikachu candy. Oh my god. Quirky is neutral. Now, let's see. Ooh, it's the same one as the one I have. Dream Shard, not good. Let's see. Did you? Lax. I think Lax is not good. I think that's slow or like experience down, so it might be good. It is not very finding first skill. Research, ingredient finder, helping bonus. Oh, it's main skill down, actually. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. So I guess it is good. Lax is good. Not the best, but it's good. We did get that 1.5 and 10,000 sneaky snacking from a Ganium. A Ganium's cracked. I do have a really good Meganium, to be fair. I think I also gave it a main skill seed, so now it has, like, berry finding and helping speed M on the first two slots. It's going insane. We're finally seeing Toxic or really... Oh, we got some more candies from my, Mr. Mine. But we're seeing Toxic Girl really put in some... Some work with the oils. I still need to get them to level 50, but. We'll get a couple of skill triggers. Two hundred points, we're just saving them up. Just maybe we can get some master biscuits eventually. Uh let's see what we get. 
Dream Cluster, eh, not bad. I actually have a lot of them. So if I ever get like an event, we can use them. I know Good Sleep Day is coming. Passes by so fast. Um, but that's it. Let's go into. I know there was good. Uh, there's new news. The good sleep bundles. I don't think they really changed. I didn't look into them, but most of the time they're all. This... I mean, they could change for all I know, but I haven't been paying attention too much on them. Um, but yeah, if you want the bundles, they're there. I don't have the diamonds for it, so most than likely it won't. Um, and then obviously the good sleep day number twelve is coming. It'll be from Saturday, July 20 to Tuesday, of July 23rd. All areas, you have all the multiplier and all the additional stuff. It will be, it says Saturday, right? Other days to Tuesday. So Monday would be the best one. Not bad. Did I get 28 reports? Oh, let's see the candy. Mr. Mime, let's go. Thank you, Victoria. Appreciate it. Um, what else do I need? Mr. Mime Candy definitely is what I need. And some Toxic Rogue. Um, we did have a shiny yesterday. It was actually 83. I believe he got a shiny Eevee. So that's pretty nice. Congrats on that. And I believe that was the only one from yesterday. Um, yeah, everybody else. That was the only shiny. Congrats to you. Do believe everybody's within the three days, right? Yeah. Thank you all for doing your research. I appreciate it. Hmm. So I guess now we will, well, I don't even know if we have stuff, but it, it is what it is. I did check last night. I do believe we can cook some like decent stuff. Oh, I guess we can get the lovely smoothie, and then we'll put a couple of herbs in there. What else? A couple of apples? Or... And a couple of potatoes. No extra tasty, it is what it is. But we did get 13,755 uh, dish strength, so that's nice. And we got to cook the lovely kiss smoothie, so I don't get to kick, uh, cook those very often. <laughs> Honestly, what I should be doing is switching out my team, but. It is what it is. Let's see. Uh, so I know Cyclix, uh, Cyclohex moved on to the other level. So I can already get uh, Toxicroak all the way to level 30. However, since I've been raising them uh, via the XP, I kind of want to wait. <clears throat> I want to just use up as much XP so that I can just use up the candies to level him up. Because leveling, level him, leveling him up to level 50 will be very hard. And I need as many candies as I can. Same thing for Mr. Mime. Just getting him to like level 40 is kind of hard. I mean, I do have like candies, but still need. I probably need like 200 more candies. And then Ghastly is not doing too bad, actually. But I think I'm going to wait. Because I need 10 more candy so I can evolve into Haunter. Getting getting him to level 30 is the, is the real thing. Oh, 25. Can I get him to 25 already? E no, I can't. That's really hard. I'm trying to get him to 25. Because I don't really need him to evolve right now. But get him to 25 would be nice. We do have Seed Flare. Actually, it's doing really good. nice. You see, it's a really good Meganium. Like, it got very funny helping speed, so it's really fast. And it also has skill level up, and so it will be triggering. Same thing with the skill trigger. So, honestly, it's pretty good. 
my and has ingredient finder down, so. I do believe that, well, I gotta switch my team, right? I was actually doing pretty decent yesterday. I had my, uh, what is it? Uh, my dessert week team. Uh, this team stayed like above 100. Uh, I do believe, what is it? Jigglypuff triggered a good amount, uh, Wigglytuff uh, triggered a good amount of time. He got up to 126. I think I got him whenever he was at 100. And I also have Wobbuffet. I have a whole bunch of healers just so they can like maintain my team and collect a couple of apples. So I think I'm gonna do that right now. Hopefully they can trigger. Actually, Wigglytuff was triggering more than uh, my Gardevoir, which is actually interesting. But it is what it is. So we're gonna put that team out because uh, I also don't. They don't get energy, and I feel like I have to have a lot of healers in order to not. Since I only have one long sleep session, I can only choose five Pokemon that I will be using for the XP game. Um, and that has already been determined. So Toxic Rogue, Ghastly Lines, and uh, also Mr. Mime. Um, so these Pokemon that I have in this team will not be able to get XP. So I need them to always have high energy. So if I have more healers, like three of them, and I still have Meganium on there... Um, Blastoise is the only one I'm having a hard time just because of its nature it has lonely nature and it doesn't recover as much energy But seed flare does meganium does so well. Um, it has energy recovery. It's actually impish nature. So every time it hits um, It gets a little bit more like two or three more um, So it's always good. So it's good to have a couple of healers so that I don't have to really worry at the end of the day they're probably going to be around that same uh, level. Like, it'll be at 126 uh, energy and stuff like that. But Blastoise is a hard one because it, it doesn't gain any additional energy when they trigger. When Wiggly or Gardevoir or Wapafet trigger. But it is what it is. I need him because he's, he has pretty good in ingredients. He gets a lot of milk. Um, so, I'll be doing that. If not, I can switch him out with another. I have another Ward Turtle that collects a lot of milk. But that's going to be the end of the video. The question of the day is going to be... Because it's really hard. I was going to say, what's everybody's like strategy? Because um, I know like I just mentioned my strategy where I have like two teams. One of the team is like the one that I'm going to put overnight. So it's my Ghastly Toxic Rogue uh, team. Uh, so they can get as much XP as they can, the 150 and then also so I can kill, collect candies from them overnight. So hopefully they get a candy. And then during the day I have my this team. Um, which has like three healers. Um, and then a couple of two that I need. One for berries. And I need the other one for uh, ingredients. My Blastoise. Um, so that's the strategy I've been doing. I don't know if everybody else has been doing like a mixture. Where they have a healer come in. A really, you might have a really good healer that triggers a lot more. Um, and that helps out your mons a lot and but overall I would think that people would not have teams um, teams that help your island at the same time and that you would want to level up that that's kind of hard because for me um, all the Pokemon that I want to level up are not like for example this is hard to explain <laughs> I'll do my best though I'll do my best to explain it so, for example, so mostly, oh, actually, I got to do by level because it shows. Because usually all the Pokemon that I use on a daily basis um, over the past, you know, since Pokemon Sleep started, um, all of the Pokemon I really use naturally are going to be really high. And I don't really want to level them up uh, that much. And I, and I have candies for all of them. Like for Venusaur, if I really wanted to, I could already have them level 55 maxed out, but I'm not going to. Um, I actually want to save those candies in case I get a better, you know, Bulbasaur that has different stuff. Because um, this Venusaur is focused on honey, and it's my mono honey. So, definitely going to be up there. But I want to save all the candies um, for another Bulbasaur if I get, like, a tomato potato one. Anyways, so all these Pokemon are going to be really high. Uh, but the reason that I put Mr. Mime is because it's really hard to get Mr. Mime candies. And I've really been trying to get get it to level 50 because that's a big stepping stone for uh, Mr. Mime. 
Like this is one of this is a top tier Mr. Mime for sure. It has ingredient finder, inventory, ingredient finder, speed, and then it has even a great nature. But the helping bonus is gonna help overall, it's gonna be crazy. So that's why I chose Mr. Mime. And then all the other Pokemon, I'm not you know too crazy about like to leveling up. So that's why I put uh, my um, Toxicroak as well, my oily boy. Um, cause it's mono oil, so I know it's gonna be crazy. Just getting it to level 30 is gonna be great. Um, but I really need that level 50 for Ingredient Finder M. Um, cause it doesn't have a good nature and it doesn't have Ingredient Finder regular S. So I need to level it up to level 50 for sure to really get max benefit. And the Gastly's are very self-explanatory. Um, Spicy Argon over here, um... If I have two Gastly's on the team, they're more likely to get more candies. And plus, these are really two, like, both of them are really good. This one's, like, um, herb-oriented. Same thing with a little bit of oil at the end. And it's really fast, so it's really good. And then the other Gastly. Everybody knows the other Gastly. It's, uh, very, it's my mushroom farmer. Cyclohex, um, double mushroom would be a great addition. Has helping bonus. I was trying to get it to level 25, but... I don't know, that's just gonna be kinda hard. Uh, the good thing is it has Timid. I mean, it sucks at speed down, but it has Helping Bonus, so I'm not, I'm not worried about it. It kinda cancels out. Um, but Sleeping Bonus would help a lot overnight. It would even give it more to my other mods. So maybe I'll get it to level 25 first before evolving or anything. But yeah, that's my strategy. I wonder what everybody else's strategy is. I know it's kind of hard to explain, especially if you're commenting. But comment down below. I would, I would like to know what everybody... Or what Pokemon are you focusing on? You can just say, like, one of them. Say, like, hey, I, you know, I'm trying to level up my routes or anything like that. Well, that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, as always, if you like the video, push that like button. It helps me out a lot. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Um, we have been getting a good amount of subscribers, so I appreciate that. Uh, thank you not just for subscribing, but also for watching the videos. It means a lot to me. Um, I know I've been a little late on some of the videos. Sorry, I've just been really stumped with work. Um, but I'll definitely be putting two videos today since uh, it's a holiday. So uh, I'll be enjoying that. And as always, if you could share the video, I would appreciate it. Thank you. Um, that's going to be the end of the video. And I hope... It, wait, before, before we leave. We made it this far. Look at the tail. Look at Wobble Fist's tail. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyways, uh, hopefully we catch something cool tomorrow. Today wasn't a bad session. We just didn't get really lucky with the RNG sub skills of the Pokemon or the natures. So it is what it is. But hopefully we can get like a same session like tomorrow. That would be kind of nice. Um, but we'll see. Y'all take care. Sun sends out. Have a great uh, 4th of July. Take care.